Hello, Foxhound agents. I'm Hunter. Welcome back to Let's Play Metal Gear Solid. We have just defeated Vulcan Raven once again. Sometimes we have to do it twice. And that was certainly the case for Vulcan Raven. Snake, if it's about Naomi, I'm looking into the matter right now. Give me a little more time. Where is she? She's still sleeping. I can't believe it. First, the DARPA chief turns out to be an imposter, and now Naomi. What the hell is going on here? I suppose you're going to tell me you don't know anything, right? I'm sorry, Snake. A uh, madman is threatening the world with a nuclear weapon. I guess that's what I should worry about now. Colonel, we're out of time. The terrorists are going to launch. Colonel! Snake, hurry up and get to Metal Gear's underground base. It's north of the warehouse where you fought Raven. Uh, there's no time to hurry. We need to figure out what's going on with Naomi first. That could change everything. How, I don't know, but I'm just saying that. Snake, hurry up and get to Metal Gear's underground base. It's north of the warehouse where you fought Raven. Okay, fine. Snake, I'm sure that woman calling herself Naomi is some type of spy. And now I'm starting to think that Campbell might be hiding something too. Don't trust him. Is he some kind of spy? Maybe he's working for the terrorists. We don't really know anything about these people, to be honest. We just assume that we have good guys and we have bad guys, and that's about as far as it goes. Sometimes in combat, when you're near the end of your rope. All right, I'm not trusting anyone. Uh. Alright, she does not have anything to say. I don't know anything about Dr. Naomi, so there's not much I can say. But Snake, I think you'd better leave that to Colonel Campbell. Don't you think you'd better just get to the control room? Well, I mean, you, you make a good point. But Snake, I think you'd better leave that to Colonel Campbell. Don't you think you'd better just get to the control room? What awaits me in the control room? Liquid Snake? I'm sure I'm going to have to fight him again. I don't buy that crashed helicopter nonsense for one second. What's up, Snake? Uh, Good luck, Snake. You know, Naomi betrayed us, and there's intrigue, and the colonel's hiding something, and nuclear proliferation, blah, blah, blah. Is there like a... By the way, I really should have worn this. This is so good. It's annoying because you can't hold the rations or the card or anything else, but it's actually really worth doing. I just like to throw that fact of life in there. <clears throat> I, I don't know if she identified the Say. In 1970, all five nuclear powers. She does not have anything to say. Or perhaps she already said something about the camera. I don't recall. I have a level seven card now. That's a lot of card. You know, that's a pretty good card right there. I don't know if I can backtrack. I do believe that there were. Uh, there was a level 7 door, oh, was it in the snowfield where we fought Sniper Wolf? I, I'm pretty sure that we've had some level 7 door or two. Um, so, yeah, I guess I'm going back there. I don't know. I don't really want to do it right this second. Why not? Well, I gotta go through the furnace thing to do that. That does not sound fun. Or maybe I should. Maybe that's exactly what I should do. 
I've been second guessing myself on backtracking the whole game. I don't know if I should be doing it or not. Okay, weapons. Um, I don't know, haven't we covered them all? I think we have. Oh, well, there you go. It's a black screen with a really uh, blocky gradient on it. Is it always like that? Why so many cameras? Chaff grenade. Yep, that's the perfect item for that. America and Russia are not the only countries with nuclear weapons. Yeah, that's great. Thank you. Snake, hurry up and get to Metal Gear's underground base. The only way to conquer fear is to stare it straight in the face. All right. Just, just checking. Just checking. Um. So we got the three cameras up there, which are synchronized, sort of. And then we've got this one right here, which isn't moving. Soliton radar system is active. Are those cameras or turrets or something? I think I can probably just grab this. Ho oh, ho ho! Okay then, that just happened. Okay. You little bastard. like someone was playing with the level editor and just said, let's put cameras everywhere. It'd be fun if we put cameras everywhere. Yeah, the cameras cover everything. So, basically, I don't recommend going up there. That could cost time, maybe another chaff grenade. Basically, what I recommend is throw a chaff grenade go through the door, and, uh, you know, I don't know if there's cover over there, but I'll try to find an area where there are no cameras. Okay, let's, uh, let's prepare, and, wow, there's so many of them. That was very laggy. Seriously, what's up with all the cameras and turrets? Um, Snake, isn't the detonation code input system in the control room? Hurry up and get in there. Do I have that information? I don't remember. Snake, stop that launch. Head for the control room in the underground base. The control room is on the third floor of the underground base, isn't it? There's no time. I definitely don't remember that. Inevitably, there's going to be some guys there doing it, right? You know, if they're going to launch a missile, they have to be keeping track of the procedure to do it. So I guess I'm going to have to kill those guys. I don't think they're going to reason with me that stuff that is flowing in those ditches on the first floor must be radioactive nuclear wastewater you better stay away from it you are already exposed enough just by being in that area any further exposure could be fatal that place does not have a nuclear processing facility it must be some other kind of nuclear material that is leaking besides the dismantled nuclear warheads 
Probably spent nuclear fuel or something. Got it. The water is lava. Any time fuel is burned in a nuclear reactor, it will always produce, as a waste product, some spent fuel mixed with highly toxic radioactive compounds. Spent nuclear fuel stays radioactive for 300 years. Where did you get that figure from? In other words, this material will remain lethal for the next three centuries. I have no idea where she's getting the 300-year thing from. It's... It... It varies depending on the isotope and the element, and uh, sometimes, sometimes it's just several decades. Sometimes it's thousands of years. Um, radioactivity is, uh, you know, it's not it's not on our uh, lifetimes time scale. So, I have no idea what the three hundred year thing is about. Maybe she's just referring to something specific or averaging it or I have no clue. Um, but yeah, radioactive fuel remains very hot, very dangerous, and very hard to handle for many, many years. There was a time when we thought it was safe to seal <clears throat> nuclear waste in special containers and bury it in a layer of rock salt without much exposure to underground water. Even though we now know there are big problems with that, we still do not have an effective disposal solution. Most of the nuclear waste we produce is just shoved underground with no intention of ever processing it. It is like an ostrich with its head in the sand, no? Yeah, you know, we had the, uh... I forget what that mountain in, what was it, Arizona or some New Mexico. Uh, the, the property was near or it was on uh, an American reservation. And uh, they were unhappy. About, or maybe they were. I don't remember the details. But it was controversial because, you know, who wants to live by that? And you always have to wonder... You know, it's a huge security risk to have a whole bunch of this radioactive material there. Not just that someone could tamper with it, but that it could get out somehow. And then, you know, then what happens to the surrounding area? So it's really kind of a, a problem that uh, uh, it really does need some kind of a solution. Um, breeder reactors could be part of the solution, but... Yeah, I think more research needs to be done. It's like lead, except it radiates everywhere and <laughs> travels in the wind. There is a process which involves mixing the nuclear waste with low-grade uranium to convert it into a mixed oxide fuel for burning in light water reactors, usually in the form of glass logs. But MOX contaminates a nuclear reactor more quickly than low-grade uranium. It is also highly toxic. It is economically unfeasible unless the price of uranium is more than four times what it currently is. Not only that, you cannot ignore the danger inherent in transporting the MOX from the processing factories to the nuclear reactors. An accident could lead to radioactive contamination or the materials could be hijacked by terrorists. No! I do not think MOX could be called a viable solution to the problem of plutonium disposal. Yep. It's, uh... That's the thing. We're all after power. And, uh... Nuclear power has some very, very attractive characteristics. But there's a downside to everything. No matter which power source you select, there's a downside. Just name it. There's a downside to it. Some of them are more benign than others. The nuclear one, well, you know. Our main concern, uh, in spite of the uh, issues with containment, our main concern is uh, nuclear war rather than pollution. But the pollution is something that will attack us for all time, will it not? It will just keep poisoning our land and our people as long as it is there. And once it gets scattered all over the place, well, you can't really contain it at that point. You don't even, you know, like around Chernobyl, you can't just 
mop it up. You can't just vacuum it up and put it in a barrel again. It's all over the place. It's gone. You can't do that. There is only one effective use for nuclear waste. Military applications. You see, after chemical reprocessing, they can separate plutonium from the nuclear waste. Nuclear weapons normally use military-grade plutonium-239 with a purity of 93 to 94%. It is made in special nuclear reactors designed for military applications. On the other hand, the plutonium in spent nuclear fuel only has a purity of about 60%. But that does not mean that spent nuclear fuel cannot be used for military applications. America has been successful in tests using weapons made from nuclear reactor-grade plutonium. That means that eventually, everyone will be able to make nuclear weapons from plutonium separated from spent nuclear fuel. Yeah, yeah, the genie is out of the bottle, huh? You got all these countries saying, well, we need reactors for peaceful purposes, and well, the thing about that is not that they're lying. It's more of a, that is true until it isn't. And uh, as I've probably said in some other video a long time ago, uh, the fact that the, uh, the inventors of this technology, the designers of these reactors, have not been better role models, have not shown leadership in, you know, not having nuclear weapons. Uh, it's really disappointing. Uh, they just have this 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 arrogance about this hubris about human nature you know you you have to assume that if the weapons are in the inventory eventually they're going to get used maybe not in this lifetime maybe not in the next but they're going to get used spent nuclear fuel can also be used to make depleted uranium bullets or shells they are armor piercing anti tank rounds DU is two and a half times denser than steel and 50% denser than lead, so it makes it an extremely effective armor-piercing weapon. It can cut through tank armor like a hot knife through butter. Unfortunately, when a DU round explodes, it spreads a fine dust which, when absorbed into a body, supposedly causes terrible long-term health problems, including genetic damage. During the Gulf War, American as well as Iraqi soldiers were exposed to DU dust and suffered from radiation poisoning and other illnesses. The American government conducted research to discover whether exposure could lead to cancer or genetic damage, but the results were inconclusive. Some people think that this type of radioactive contamination is what is behind the Gulf War Syndrome, but the government will not admit it. The results are inconclusive meaning it's perfectly safe. Keep it at your dinner table. They are currently doing research to find ways to transform minor actinoids, such as americium and neptunium, which are highly toxic with long half-lives into nuclear materials with short half-lives. It is called extinction processing, but it is not being used much due to all the technical and economical problems with it. A serious program for nuclear waste treatment has yet to be established. That's true. More research is needed. We need... We need alchemy. We need to change these... terrible substances into more manageable ones. And, uh... Obviously, we cannot continuously create more of these substances through the, uh, you know, pursuit of day-to-day -day energy production without having uh, a full cycle for the, uh, for the waste. It's like when you manufacture something, you have to also figure out what's going to happen when the product is trash. And usually the answer is this catch-all, well, it just goes in the landfill, of course. Well, sometimes that's a bad thing. Sometimes that's not a solution. Sometimes that's stupid. So we really do have to, uh, you know, be a little bit more adult about it and figure out what's going to happen uh, in the next stage after we get 
the primary benefit from the, the power generation, for instance, or the manufacture of some product. Any time fuel is burned in a nuclear reactor, it will always produce as a waste product some spent fuel mixed with highly toxic radioactive compounds. Spent nuclear fuel stays radioactive for 300 years. Okay, well, that was interesting. I was not expecting her to get back on the uh, nuclear proliferation path, but here we are again. Uh, actually, I was expecting them to start talking about Metal Gear, which presumably is straight ahead. Snake, stop that launch. Snake, isn't the detonation code input system in the control room? Okay, what about you, Hal? But Snake, I think you'd better leave that to Colonel Campbell. Don't start your sentence like that. Well, that's all right, I guess. Oh, it's all right. It's all right. I'm just sensitive, I guess. I don't suppose you guys can hear me. Why even put their codes here if you can't call them ever? Well, you you used to be able to call Merrill. Cute cutscene. There it is. I've been waiting the whole game to see this. Hmm. Well, just like it was advertised. Big ol' transformer thing. Looks like something from Star Fox 64. I assume I'm gonna get ambushed by Liquid Snake here. Which I really don't have time for. Hmm. Yeah, I told you. Oh, well, that was brief. There's gonna be another one. I promise. Alright, there's the nuclear waste. Which seems to not want to render that well, but... There's nuclear waste! Don't step in it. I don't see anyone here. There's a control room somewhere, maybe right above me? It's supposed to be on the third floor. What is this camera angle? Look at that. What, what, what am I... Okay. Can't even see what I'm doing. Okay, there's stairs here, although I'm looking up into the air. Good. Hmm. See a camera. Any other cameras around here? Not really much information. These staircases look like a very bad position to be in. Chaff grenade, oh. Let's check the other side. Boss fight? Boss fight area? Is there a railing here? Okay, there's a railing. I don't think I can get through here, can I? What's wrong? Did you find a good place to hide? Yeah, thanks to the stealth gear. It looks like they've finished getting Metal Gear ready. How do you know that? I overheard them talking. Where are you now? Right in front of Metal Gear, but it's strange. What is? There's nobody here. No guards, nobody patrolling. It's too quiet. Maybe because they're all ready. They said they even input the PAL codes. What should I do? All we can do is use the override system that President Baker told you about. But I've only got one of the three keys. And besides that, like Ocelot said, there's some trick to using the keys. Leave it to me. You got some kind of plan? Well, I'm in the computer room right now. I'm trying to access Baker's private files. Baker's files? Don't you need a password? Of course, but there are ways. Are you a hacker? Yep, that describes me pretty well. Does it look like you can get in? I don't know yet. I'll give it a try. I'm counting on you. Why couldn't you name yourself, like, I don't know, Hack Dude or Elite, Hacker, I mean, anything. Instead, you went with Otakon. Ugh. 
I mean, I got nothing against anime. I'm just saying. What's with the name, man? So, yeah, it is too quiet. Uh, I'm expecting some sort of, you know, ambush. And, I'm Liquid Snake! <laughs> on the third floor of the underground base, isn't it? Snake, isn't the detonation code All input right. system in the control room? I don't think I can get up here. Whoa. Wrong button. Uh, how do I... this? Yeah! Now the Soliton radar system doesn't work. Damn Mei Ling. What she trying to pull? Alright, there's the control room right up there. So supposedly there should be... I don't know if there's guys up there or if Hal's up there or... I mean, this is obviously a trap, but... Yep, don't know what's coming up ahead. And I am out of time. I've spent all my time talking about nuclear proliferation. Well, we are on the Metal Gear scaffolding, or structure, whatever you want to call it now. So, next time on Let's Play Metal Gear Solid, uh, we are going to be, um, you know, investigating Metal Gear and the control room.